Hello everybody, this is Freeman Sullivan. Uh, we're live streaming here from 7th Street here in Civic Center, San Francisco. And we're just kind of getting started here. And this is your uh, live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. We're here for uh, climate action. To uh, we're opposing the uh, passage of AB 702, which will allow for the uh, export of fossil fuels, that's coal, oil, and natural gas from the United States overseas. And uh, we're pretty much against that here in the Bay Area. Right now, we have been activated to uh, oppose. We've been opposing um, uh, Philip. Tagami uh, wants to uh, ship coal through the uh, port in West Oakland. Uh, he was given this land and uh, he's trying to ship it out. So I'm uh, live streaming. So we're uh, we're getting set to start the demonstration here. We got a small crowd. Let's see, uh, about 20 people, I guess. Uh, we're here at Seventh and Market at the Federal Building here, the Green Federal Building. A lot of people call it a monstrosity. And uh, here in San Francisco, we're here on the lunch hour. So I think should be getting started pretty soon here. It's a bright and beautiful day, 85 degrees, uh, a little warmer than we're used to here in the Bay Area, but still a beautiful day here in our Indian summer of San Francisco. So I've got a few more people showing up. to stay out of the sun here as much as possible. It's very warm out here today. Feel free to log in under the chat. Oh great. So we're gonna move down a little bit. Don't have to do a lot of walking for this, thank goodness. I haven't been really feeling all that great, but I don't like to complain. Oh uh, yeah, live streaming. Sorry? Uh, live streaming. Nice, perfect. Where are you posting it? Freeman Sullivan. Why not you stream? Awesome. What is Freeman Sullivan? It's me. Oh, awesome. It's my brand. Great, great. Cool. That's okay. Will it be available after? Yeah. I would love to watch it. Yeah, yeah. Here, you got a pen. I'll write it down for you real okay. quick. That's side. Uh, I got a phone. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for doing it. 
no problem. So we can get an audience yeah. going here. <laughs> My name's Clark. I'm Anna Pye. Nice to meet you. Do you usually go to uh, Green Action uh, As much as my help permits. Nice. You know, I try to cover uh, as many political events as I can cover. Uh -huh. so, you know, mostly radical in nature. Sorry? Mostly radical in nature. Great. I started doing this with Occupy back in 2011. Nice. So this is, I guess, my 550th live stream. Wow, congrats. So I've been doing it all over the country. That's really great. You know, so you can do it with your phone too. Yeah. It's very democratic. Yeah, yeah, it's important. Right? We need more live streamers. We don't ever have enough. Yeah, right. that's cool. Because you know, I can't get out as many events as I would like to cover. Right. Oh, so we're gonna have some speakers here in just a minute. Yeah. Yeah, for people that are watching. We're here, and for those of you just joining us, uh, we're here in San Francisco at the. San Francisco Federal Building here on 7th Street uh, between Market and Mission. We're out here protesting for, there's a bill that's up uh, in Congress, hasn't left committee yet, uh, AB 702, which would uh, allow uh, United States companies to export fossil fuels overseas. And we're pretty much against that. Uh, we've been, uh, you know, opposing Keystone XL. Uh, we're actually, you know, quit using fossil fuel, get out of your car, you know, try to use public transportation as much as possible, ride a bike. I mean, you know, unless people uh, make this massive shift away from using fossil fuels, uh, you know, the global warming is a real thing. Climate change is a real thing. So, uh, you, know, you gotta live accordingly. So we should be getting started here any minute. Bradley Angel, a longtime activist. Uh, the sponsoring organization is GreenAction.org. We are the officials are busy protecting the fossil fuel industry and destroying the planet. And we'll uh, get going more officially in a couple of minutes. But uh, thank you all for coming on a warm day and right after a long weekend for some. Uh, today's action is to really send a message to Obama and Congress that they need to start protecting people on the planet instead of corporate polluters from the fossil fuel industry and their bank accounts. That's right. And today, the U.S. Senate is coming back from their undeserved break, or maybe it's a good thing that they took a break. Uh, and we're really concerned that the attempt to lift the ban on crude oil exports out of the country is um, they're really making the move to get rid of that. And also our communities here are under attack from both global and local impacts. So just to uh, kind of warm things up, we expect a few more people to show up. Uh, let me introduce Leotis Martin, who's with the Hundreds of Your Mothers and Fathers Committee and Green Action. And we'll try out a few chants. And, um, and then we're going to hear from folks about uh, all these issues and why, why we're all coming together to address them. We are there. All right, all right. Let's get our point together. Let's let them hear. Tell me what we say. Hey, Congress, don't you know? Fossil fuel has got to go. Hey, Congress, don't you know? Fossil fuel has got to go. Hey, Congress, don't you know? Fossil fuel has got to go. Hey, Congress, Fossil fuel has got to go. Hey, Obama, don't you know? Fossil fuel has got to go. Hey, Obama, don't you know? Fossil fuel has got to go. Hey, Obama, don't you know? Fossil fuel has got to go. Hey, Obama, don't you know?
care about our health, and that's why we are out here. See, if you don't know, you don't care. But we are here to let y'all know that we know what's going on, and we're not giving up without a fight. You know, the politicians just came back off of their vacation. You know, from the, uh, uh, I don't think they deserve a vacation. So what do we want? that 
uh, we've also been able to stop the project in Pittsburgh, the Westpac project. Right, right. They've taken yeah. crude by rail out of the project altogether. All right. Yeah. 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 And yeah. Richmond is also ground zero. We already have coal exports going out of the port of Richmond. We already have Petco exports going out of the port of Richmond. Why? Because we do not have sufficient local protection. And they're sending the stuff to China. They're also sending it to Mexico. So it's all around the Pacific. What goes up must go down. It's going to affect us personally here in the Bay Area. And uh, it's already impacting people. And, you know, like West Oakland, much of Richmond is working class and uh, low-income folks. But one of the things that's unique about Richmond is the coal cars have to pass right by the Marina Bay neighborhood, which is an upscale condo and apartment kind of housing built right on the waterfront. All sorts of, you know, yachts and, and sail ships, sailboats. But guess what? Now they got to breathe the same air we do. And so now they're getting upset, and they want to see something done. So it's when we all get together that things can happen, and that, once again, you know, we may not be able to stop the extraction out there in North Dakota and in Alberta, but the actions we take here locally can disrupt that economy and drive down that demand. So that's our job. Thank you, everybody, for being here today.
we've got about 15, 20 people here. Small demonstration, but we're out here anyway, here at San Francisco Federal Building here in Thank you for this is your live stream. My name's uh, Roth Eli, I'm a conservation coordinator for the Sierra Club San Francisco Bay Chapter. Uh, I've been working on the Air District stuff really closely with uh, CBE, and I just want to give another round of applause for my best on there at CBE.
David, that's why we need just transition for workers so they get good jobs for clean energy that don't poison people. All right. Test, test. Okay. Um, I hope this doesn't seem like a side issue, but all this talking about um, the toxicity of Hunter's Point made me think about another toxic zone nearby, which is Treasure Island. So um, they've been using it for homeless housing because it's toxic. Uh, and then there's another island which is not toxic called Yerba Buena Island, and there's folks living there. They're both owned by the city, and the city has owned, made a cut a deal with some wealthy developers uh, to, develop, to put up uh, luxury condos on Yerba Buena Island and move the folks already living there over to uh, Treasure Island, which is severely toxic. So, we are fighting this, so if you can handle, have lunch, and then at 3.30, there will be um, a hearing at, at City Hall, a speak out in front of the supervisors to, uh, to combat this. So if you can handle a double feature, um, show up. Thank you. Keep the oil in the soil! Keep the oil!
Okay, go. A little chaos here, folks. As usual. And it's like the federal government to be uncooperative. sure you call up your congressman and tell them not to support bill AB 720 AB 720 and that is to allow collect or fossil fuel exports to be shipped out of the United States and exported overseas so uh, this is your live stream of Freeman Sullivan say hi to everybody and uh, have a great day